Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how you can install and run PC games on your Android smartphone using WinLater emulator. So uh, previously I have made a video about running PC games on your Android smartphone, but that was about Mobox. And to be very honest, uh, Mobox is a very complicated app. You have to do like hundreds of things to get it working on your Android smartphone. And even after that, you have to dial in a lot of settings to get the best possible experience out of it so today we're going to explore winlater that is a very simple way to do that uh, with just one app there's there's nothing to do there's no downloading and nothing there's just one app that you have to install and just start playing games it's it's as simple as that so uh, this is the winlater app if you want to download the apk file there's a link in the description go ahead once you install that and launch it, you will see this kind of interface and here you have a couple of settings and all you have to do is just tap here. Now the settings that I'm going to dial in are specifically for Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. So if you have any other processor than a Qualcomm one, you have to dial in uh, different settings and uh, the best you can do is just search on google the best win later settings for your particular smartphone now here what you have to do is give it a name select screen size from here i would recommend 720p that is the best one then you have to select the graphic driver uh, you have to keep turnip for adreno that is a qualcomm so i'm going to keep it that way uh, in dx wrapper uh, just keep it on default audio drivers just keep it on default now here you have to select the GPU that your phone is going to simulate. Now after that, uh, just select video memory size to 4 gigs and that's pretty much it. Now there are a couple of tabs here and most probably you don't have to do anything here. Everything is dialed in just fine for you and uh, that's pretty much it. The best you can do is just select all the cores from here to get the best uh, experience and choose windows version to be windows 7 this is the most stable one and once you do that just tap on this tick icon and let it do its job now as you can see this is a container too this is the first one that i have already created and using to play the games now this is container 2 and all you have to do is just tap run let me just all right, so once you are here, uh, as you can see, this is the explorer. This is the file explorer that opens up right away. And uh, to use this interface, all you have to do is just use it, use your screen as a trackpad and just tap to left click. Now importing games is also very simple. All you have to do is just download the files that you want to run or install on this machine all you have to do is just move those files to the download folder of your android smartphone and once you do that they will appear right here in this d section d drive so as you can see this is my this is my download folder and i have games right here See, now all you have to do is just double click the exe file and the game will begin. Now to play the games all you have to do is just swipe back, tap on input controls, select virtual gamepad, tap ok and there's your virtual gamepad. Now for a keyboard you have to back, tap on keyboard, it will open a floating keyboard just type on it and you can just tap on here to make it go away and let's go easy and we're in the game let's turn up the sound a little bit everything that lives is designed to end we are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. 
Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. Hmm? And Mom. wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Alright guys, so that was the new container. Uh, that's why I didn't have save files for this game. So I couldn't show you how the game runs. Actually runs past the tutorial. So as you can see this is how the game runs and uh, honestly it's it's easily more than 20 25 fps and that's pretty much playable. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you want to know anything about uh winlater or running games on winlater or about settings tell me about it in the comments and i'll reply it as soon as possible and uh, that's pretty much it so thanks guys for watching hope you like it hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one